The head assembly is the parts that connect your irrigation system to the water source. They call it the head assembly because it goes at the very start, or the top. The parts are mostly to protect your irrigation system from things like debris or too high of pressure. This is how to install a head assembly for a drip irrigation system running from a hose bib. Let's connect our irrigation system to the water source. To do that, we're going to build our head assembly, starting with the timer, since we want to automate the system. This will be the very first thing we connect to the spigot. Next up is our backflow preventer. This prevents irrigation water from flowing back into the potable water supply. After the backflow preventer comes our filter to prevent any clogging in the irrigation system. After the filter comes our pressure regulator. This will protect our system from high pressure and keep our emitters dripping nice and uniform. And last up in the head assembly is our hose by tubing adapter. And this is the part that connects our mainline tubing to the head assembly and the water source. The order we install the parts is essential. If you're using a timer, it will always go first for two reasons. First, it is the only part in the head assembly that is rated for constant pressure, which means it's the only part that can handle an always open water source. Second, it allows you to leave the faucet open so that the timer can control the watering cycle. Now for a couple tips. When you're doing your install, check inside the female parts to make sure that the gasket is inside. That's how hose threaded components seal. Another tip is in regards to a leaking backflow preventer. Believe it or not, a little bit of a leak can be completely normal and could indicate that it's working as it should by bleeding out water that might have otherwise siphoned back into your potable water supply. Now, it shouldn't be like a stream or a spray or anything like that, but a little bit of leaking, particularly at system shutdown, can be completely normal. One of the most common mistakes we see made is over-tightening your parts. Don't use tools like wrenches or pliers to tighten your head assembly components. Many times per year, we'll get emails from folks and their head assembly is leaking or dripping or has become damaged, only to find out that they tightened it with a wrench. Plastic head assembly components should be hand tightened at most. Usually just finger tightening and then another quarter to half turn will be sufficient. When over tightening, you can actually cause the very problems you're trying to prevent and could even cause damage to your components. Related to over tightening, but don't use silicone tape or thread sealant. Hose threaded components seal with the gasket that's in the female side of your fitting. Silicone tape is a lubricant and can make it way too easy to over tighten your parts. In addition to that, thread sealant and silicone tape cause there to be additional mass. This additional mass causes there to be more tension, particularly on the female component, which can lead to damage. If you're considering an entire drip irrigation system and would like to learn more about the process, check out our Getting Started with Drip Irrigation video playlist right here. If you'd like more personalized or customized help, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact us right here.